This is where we grow different kinds of vegetables. Uh, in this area, I have watermelon. That's three bed. I have here melon. I have spring onions. I have lettuce. I have celery. I have beetroot, pepper, zucchini, and tomato on the other side. Now, in this open field, you will see some some areas we have put in the the mulch, and some mulch we have silver mulch. Others we have uh, yellow mulch. Then in other beds like where I'm standing, is having no mulch. Now, there are some students who are doing their research. They are comparing the growth rate of different kinds of crops. When you grow them with mulch, and then you don't grow them with mulch. When you plant crops in a silver mulch, crops like uh, lettuce, and any kind of crops, you find that the growth rate is too fast because the rate of photosynthesis is too fast, especially in this season, summer season, I mean. Because of the reflection of the light underneath the, the leaves, the plant and the hay for the synthesis. That uh, yellow mulch always it helps to reduce the infestations of white fly, especially in cucumber. And also, uh, some of the beds we try to play around with, uh, with the spacing, especially the cabbages, uh, the cucumber, and you find that their growth rates are amazing. Because you can see, there are some beds. Uh, where one row we defy the spacing of the crops just to see the outcome then the other row will follow the spacing of the crops so you find that it's very interesting to look at that as a demonstration uh, garden and our students always pick uh, some lessons out of that because when they go back home that's exactly what they, they do another thing I can talk about here now we have reached the stage of uh, our crops, we need to get uh, trellis, trellis cucumber. We are trellising them, uh, especially from here. Then it also applies to the tomatoes. I make my own seedlings and I will show you something very quick on what I do and uh, today I have a session with students about it. So I get my my tray. This tray should be disinfected free from any kind of pesticide. So if it is already clean, I get my coconut. This is my coconut. This is soil medium use. I mix it with water. Reasonable amount of water. It should not be too wet and too dry. That's what I do. Next time here and this is the coconut seed. So I put it here, I open the holes, then I, I let it to sit for one week for the seed it shouldn't be much from, from the tray. Then after that I do a seed selection, it's very important. The good ones I keep, the bad ones I terminate. We make sure that our seedling should be very healthy, very nice, so that it can give us too much work when we plant them. So imagine this is the area and I have my mini nursery. The person who invented this is also a professor here, a specialist in uh, uh, propagation. So I keep them different here. It has automatic irrigation. I irrigate it every day three times morning, afternoon, and evening. 